Each year for four years, a farmer increased the number of trees in a certain orchard by one quarter of the number of trees in the orchard the preceding year. If all the trees thrived and there were 6,250 trees in the orchard at the end of the four-year period, how many trees were in the orchard at the beginning of the four-year period? So if we're increasing by a quarter each time, of course, one long way to do that is just to multiply by one quarter, figure out that number, and then add that number. A quicker way is just to multiply by one plus one quarter, and that is the same as multiplying by five quarters. If you multiply something by five quarters, you've increased it by a quarter. So let's say that the start, we don't know what that number is. That's the number we're looking for, so I'm going to call that x. So after one year, what you're going to have is five quarters times x. It's increased by a quarter. After two years, you're going to have five quarters squared times x. After three years, you'll have five quarters cubed. Then after four years, you'll have five quarters to the fourth times x. And of course, this is what's going to equal 625. So the question is, how do we figure out five quarters to the fourth without a calculator? Well, first of all, five quarters to the fourth that's just going to be 5 to the 4th over 4 to the 4th. So we can figure out those separately. 5 to the 4th, one handy way to think about that, that's 5 squared squared. So that's 25 squared. After a little math, we find 25 times 25 is 625. Similarly, 4 to the 4th equals 4 squared squared. So that's 16 squared. 16 times 16, after a little math, we find that that is 256. So the fraction turns into 625 over 256 times x equals 6,250. Multiply by the reciprocal, x equals 6250 times 256 over 625. And we get some amazing cancellation. This divided by this is just 10. And so what we get is 10 times 256, which is 2560. And that is the original number of trees in the orchard. Answer choice D.